What is up, JL Life? Modell here. And Miss Dwa. Well, we got a new vehicle. Yes, however. It's a bittersweet day. As exciting as it is to get a new vehicle to build, well. Sometimes something's gotta give. And with that, we traded bromance in for it. Now you may be saying, hold up, hold up. Why the hell would you get rid of bromance? Well, having two Jeeps, having two JLs has kind of come to a head as far as being both of our daily drivers. A little bit more into that. If you follow this channel, you know we abuse the hell out of them. Just a little bit. It's one of the things I really loved about the JL because you were either triggering the Karens who think that you should drive a $50,000 vehicle like a $50,000 vehicle or you would get the complete opposite side and get the the them, beaters them hillbillies that are getting mad that the $50,000 grocery getter is following their lines oh. they took our lines they took our lines they took our lines yeah. they took our lines 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 so a lot of things kind of went into this decision with the two jeeps the kids getting older all the kids are getting a lot more crammed in the back they're not having space we can't go camping without taking both of the jeep because we can't keep we can't fill up all not the seats space. and have the space to be able to bring the gear to go camping other things that kind of were on my mind about having two jl's well we, yeah, this is great. We can drive the JLs up to Moab and we can go and wheel. But the problem with that. What if it breaks? To be compounded by the issue of not being able to get parts quickly. If we have something break up at Moab, I'm not paying someone to tow it from Moab back to Albuquerque. That's just going to be insane. Of course, other things that I want to get into is dirt biking. I want to Ooh. do motocross type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of fun. Quite honestly, the JL just don't fit the build. So, behind Heathen is the new our new family member. Now you before you before you click away. Yes, we sold Bromance, but we are keeping Heathen. Yes. This is still JL life. It's not going away. Never. We've just added ever we've just added content well i'm uh, gonna show you it's time for a reveal and you're gonna like it i'll show you i'm gonna show you Twenty nineteen twenty five hundred Cummins. I'm gonna come. It doesn't have a name yet. So we went with a twenty five hundred heavy duty turbo Cummins. Laramie sub model. So of course this thing is is stock. That problem. It's stock and it's bigger than Heathen on all of her lift and rise. Some of the reasons why we went with this is one, the back is, we, again, like I said, we needed space for the kids are getting older. If we're going to be taking the Jeep across country for family vacations, they're going to be crammed. They're going to be fighting, which is going to make me cranky, which is going to just make everyone on the trip have a bad time. These back seats are just freaking massive. It's about a misty tall. Wide. <laughs> Other things that this is going to a comp freaking flies. Do you want to see your fly? I don't want to see the flies. Addition with how big the truck is and being able to easily tow heathen. 
what's going to be nice about this is that we're going to be able to take this out camping, be able to make camping life a lot easier and not have to try to play Jenga in the minimal amount of backspace that we haven't had in the Unlimiteds. And well, damn, I'm going to be able to pack this thing to the brim and it ain't even going to make a difference. It's hot, but I need, I need you to cooperate. And it's four by four still. Have you seen the axles on these? They're huge. One thing I don't like about the truck that the JL just did right. Oh. It got one of these silly key case shifters where you just hit a button. It has vented heated seats. Did I mention it's a Cummins? Also, look at this. Boop. I can snuggle with Mo. I call that the bound chicken wow wow opportunity. I sit close in the middle, <laughs> stuck oh. in the middle with you. It's so hard Ooh. to keep this smile from my face. With Mo Dale. Oh, the oh, look at this. Oh, got stuff in there. Our things. I can hide my stuff. Let's come back over her one more again. Do, do, do. Look, look. Pull this up. And it's a cubby. I can put my ice and beer in there. Did I mention it's a diesel? So what do I know about diesels? Very little. All what I know is that there's a whole bunch of EPA crap in here. It goes vroom. Oh, I do love the sounds of, the, of a diesel motor. And guess how many cup holders it has? Guess. Four? Nine. Damn. Just to get into the reasons why we purchased the truck and did not get me another Jeep. We have one Jeep. We don't need two Jeeps. It's just, it's the same purpose vehicle and we abuse the hell out of both of them. I don't like the fact that I, I don't, yes. We have two Jeeps still. Yes, we do. We do still have two Jeeps. One of the problems with having, having bromance and it just being such a amazing crawler that it was, didn't really motivate me to work on this badass. This is gonna be my crawler now. So all you people begging for the J10 content, it's coming. Yay. And I'll be able to tow this too. And we can take this. And we can take this. And we can take this. And we can take some of these. You forgot the 5010. Oh, and that guy there too. We could take that guy. And of course, once we get moto bikes, I can just put them yeah. in the back. Like this is just going to open up so much more fun stuff. More possibilities. And you gotta love a diesel because they just last forever. Now, as far as what I'm going to do with this build, I don't know because I don't know what to do. It's a, it's a diesel. I've never had a diesel before. It's such a nice truck. But the nice thing is, a lot of our very close friends are all coal boys. So I, I got plenty of SME education to tap into. This one's staying stuck. <laughs> but the first things first, you guys all know we've been mountain biking like crazy. So the first things I have bought for this is going to be a tailgate pad and... One of those T T T oh. Tiano covers? Tano. Tano? A Tano cover. How do you know this? Because I know it. I store randomly like, useless information. I demand to know where you got education from. The interwebs. Mm. I believe Kevin and Brittany talked about it too at one point on one of their videos. So again, recap. We got rid of bromance. And I am sad to do that. I feel no, sorry. I'm very sad. <laughs> I feel sorry for the person who buys it because I was not gentle on it. Don't but get me really wrong. I took care of it, but I 
I beat on that thing. And if you pay more than, if you find my Jeep at a dealership, just so you know, they own it for 40, 40,500. 40 so don't let them oversell you. But again, with the truck, I'm gonna be able to open up the possibilities of camping is gonna be so much easier. It's gonna be easier. It's gonna open up the possibility of towing our rigs out to places and actually just getting rowdy away from home, which will be nice to know that we can get the vehicle where it needs to be. And I'm not gonna be screwed over the supply chain issues. I'm gonna be able to haul the bikes around much easier than when we were using that awesome Velocirac, which is going on heathen. If you're mad at me for getting rid of Bromance, let me know, drop a comment. If you're excited over the tow rig, let, let, let me know. know, drop a comment. If you're excited to see J10 content, let me know in the comments. If you're excited to see mountain biking videos, well, let me know. Do the thing. In the comments. But guys, I hope you're excited. Jeep content still coming. Mountain biking is part of the channel. Diesel is going to be part of the channel. And the J10, it's it's a four four banger. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Be easy, y'all. It's hot. Take it easy. Ah.